Welcome back, this is the Amateur Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Zed Landing Suicidal, and today I finished recording all of the uh, the footage that I needed for the second single player vanilla series of, uh, of Minecraft over on the, uh, I guess it's the main channel, even though this one is definitely significantly more, uh, more well known, but uh, this is definitely the side channel. Um, over on the the main channel, which isn't uh, really so main yet, uh, I've got I've got everything I needed for the uh, the second single player Minecraft series. It's pretty good. We've uh, you know the first series was about just kind of setting up a little bit, getting some tools and stuff, and this is the the first episode where it's it's really putting the you know my my own Minecraft skills to the test in the video. This is the part where I get to to start to differentiate myself from the crowd and. And show that uh, that you know you want to watch me over somebody else. Got a bit of building done, some uh, you know homebrewed redstoney stuff built, and I'm not gonna tell you exactly what the themes are, but uh, you'll have to go watch it to find out. It's clickbait. I'm sorry, but um, I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, it's it's good fun once you once you start to get into some of that more like stuff of personality, you know? Like, like the first episode was a lot of cobblestone and dirt, <laughs> right? And then the second episode, we've got all kinds of, like, we have we have access to whatever material we want in this episode now, right? Like, we can build with, with whatever we want. Nothing is, uh, nothing is too outlandish. I mean, maybe TNT. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily want to build in TNT. We don't have a, a mob farm or anything like that. But, like, you know, we, we can build with, with whatever we want now, pretty much. And uh, that's nice. Bone blocks, perhaps, too. Okay, okay. There's a couple of blocks that I wouldn't necessarily want to build with uh, en masse, but uh, it's, uh, it's it's coming along. It's pretty good. Got that, that episode recorded, edited. I didn't put the music in. I, uh, I like to have the little bit of background music, the Minecraft music, playing in the background on occasion. I was, I was too lazy to go through and, like, get the tracks ready and stuff, so I just didn't do it. <laughs> I, th I think it adds something to the video to have it be there. I don't think it adds enough to where if I'm feeling lazy, I should, like, put myself out and, and like, go do it, you know? Over time, I'll have the tracks ready, and I'll know, like, what tracks are good for, like, what kinds of, uh, of stuff. And then it'll be a little bit more natural, but for right now, it's, like, whatever, you know? It's a, it's a do it when I want, not necessarily a, a have to do it. But I've got it all edited, rendered, and all that. It's uh, just ready to get uploaded for tomorrow over on the main channel. So if you guys are uh, if you guys are interested in the Minecraft series, if that's something that you liked and you want to see more of it, make sure you're subscribed to the new channel. Uh, it will not be going up on this channel. It will only be going on the new channel. There is a link to the new channel uh, in the description of every video. If you guys aren't aware, uh, the reason why I'm moving over to the new channel is because. Uh, KF2 is getting my content uh, age restricted on occasion. I have a few videos that have been age restricted, and uh, I just I want to make sure that the content that I, I would likely to be like making a living with isn't uh, isn't going to be getting affected by by being associated with with this kind of content. You know, so even though it, it kind of puts me out having to rebuild up that channel from scratch it's uh in the long term you know two three years from now i think it'll be a better decision to have done that and it's, it's a lot easier to make that decision now than you know two or three years down the line so that's why we've got the new channel i just don't want to have it uh age restricted content kind of getting in the way of me doing what i want to do but again if you guys are interested in that minecraft series that Minecraft content. It is up on the other channel. There's a link in the description of every video on this channel to the to the new one. It's uh, HTTPS dot dot. I always say dot dot instead of colon in my head. Do you guys do that or do you say colon? I always say dot dot. HTTPS colon slash slash. You gotta, you gotta include the HTTPS just because uh, you want to make sure that you sound extra dork like when you're plugging your website. Um, ymjc.me slash uh, YouTube, capital Y, capital T. That's the URL. The, the important stuff is just the, the ymjc.me slash YouTube, capital Y, capital T. It's in the link to... It's in the description of every video, though, so just go click on it if you want to see it. Second episode is going up tomorrow. Serenity SMP will be going up. I've decided it's going up uh, on Friday. I'll just push it back a week. Um, 
because of the uh, the terrible incident, the disappointment of 2020. The greatest disappointment. Nothing came close to being as disappointing as that in 2020. Nothing. You know, 2020 otherwise was just like a really great year. And <laughs> kidding, of course. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, I don't have my. Oh, gosh, diggity darned it. Hold up. I restarted my computer. Finally, I got off my butt and did that. But I don't have my. I still haven't added it to my. Uh, one of these days I will. One of these days I will. I tried to do it once and I forgot how to do it and then I gave up. Cause I have uh, I have a different like install of, of stuff. My Windows installation isn't necessarily standard. I can't just like add something to the startup folder and it'll start up. That folder doesn't get run. Nothing in that folder matters. It's like uh, a custom script somewhere that I have to use, but I forgot where it was and I gave up and then I just never went back and tried to find it again. So. Any hoozle, any hoozle. I had another thing to talk about today. Ah, yeah, I've, um, I've pivoted my media interest. So currently I'm, uh, I'm obsessed with, uh, so I, I have these, these like cycling obsessions. It's a, it's a common trait with people who have autism and uh, you know you kind of get obsessed with this thing and then for a while you're kind of like done with it and then you get obsessed with a different thing and kind of going in this like cycle and I have uh, I have like three different categories of obsessions and I'll have you know one in each at the same time so I'll have a uh, like a physical obsession you know like um, going for a walk uh, you know Beat Saber um, you know, uh, cooking, sharpening knives, that that kind of stuff. Like like a physical thing that I have to go and do, maybe an hour or two a day kind of thing, right? Uh, and then I'll have a uh, a game obsession. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily a game obsession, but I'll have a uh, like like a main focus, I guess, which is uh, is typically a game or. Uh, or I'll be obsessed with um, programming, rain meter, whatever. Like a like a, a main interest that is like where I spend the majority of my time. Then I'll have kind of a a side interest. Um, where uh, it'll be like I watch, uh, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with Terraria Let's Plays or. Um, Manga, you know, isekai or uh, whatever, and uh, those those three kind of cycle. I always have uh, a couple of other things that I kind of enjoy doing at the same time, like you know, chess or, or something. Um, but those those don't really fall into one of the categories, and they don't really replace anything. They just kind of take up uh, a little bit out of the main interest, but they don't they don't take up enough to be an obsession, I'd say. Anyway. So, uh, my current, like, side obsession, you know, is, uh, is, is romance manga as of, like, today. So, as of today, we'll, we'll go over, per yesterday, I guess, I, uh, I read, uh, Mieruko-chan, which is a, uh, this isn't really a romance at all, um, but it kind of got me into romance. It was, it was kind of the, the gateway drug. There's no romance in it at all, but... It had uh, it had cute girls and that's enough of a trigger for me sometimes I guess. Uh, but it's about uh, a girl who's able to like see monsters. Did I? Hello? What the heck? Hello? Um. Hold up. <laughs> There's uh something wrong here. I don't need RTX voice open. I don't use that. It's garbage. People love it. I can't get behind it though. Launch G Hub, yeah. Got it. This is persistent across all applications. That's great. Uh, how do I edit it here? You guys get to see what I'm doing too, okay? I'll show you. How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I edit this? Yeah, I don't want any, I don't need to watch this tutorial. Yes, I have this. I want to, please. Default? Do I, do I have to like, hello? It's locked? That's the kit numlock or something like. 
I'm about to shut the pod. Yeah, I know you're about to shut the pod down, but like, what the heck, dude? <laughs> it's brutal. I don't have like. Hold up, hold up. Here, let's let's uh, add add a profile. So these, I'm I'm hitting the buttons on my my mouse right now. Not doing a thing. Like, I don't know if you can hear that. They're not they're not triggering anything. I'm trying to type in Discord. They're not doing anything. What the heck, dude? I'm gonna unplug it and then plug it back in. I just tried to switch weapons, and it's like, how about no? I unplugged it and it seems to be working again now. Okay. You own the money. That's good. Now spend it. Very, very, very weird. And we'll put you back to uh yeah, okay, we're still we're still good. Very weird, very weird. Um so anyway I read uh Miyoko Chan, which is about a uh a girl who gets the ability to see like monsters and stuff, and if she reacts to them, well like uh basically the way it goes is she gets the power to see the monsters. And she ignores them um, because they're like trying to see if like she can see them and then if she reacts then they attack her so she's like I'm just gonna ignore you and she has to like walk through them and like you know do all, all kinds of horrifying stuff it's 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 actually kind of creepy um, if, you're, if you're not too good with horror it's uh, Probably readable. I'm I'm probably the worst person with horror that you know, and I read it just fine. But it was it was a little bit creepy. Okay, I'll give you a, f a forewarning on that. But uh, I can manage it. So so could you if you're interested. Um, and uh, it was it was it was a. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I've got it favorited, and I'm going to be continuing to read it as it comes out. Um. But it kind of, it had, like I said, it had the cute girls in it, kind of got me, uh, wanted to read some, you know, just some fluffy, cute romance kind of stuff. So then I read, uh, a story about a totally straightforward girlfriend. If my voice sounds different, it's because I'm looking down at my phone to, like, look at my recent history. Um, yeah, a story about a totally straightforward girlfriend who, uh, well, I think that's... That's that's the story right there. She's very straightforward. She says what she likes and she says what she wants and things kind of work out the way that she wants. Well, I mean kind of, but like not because she's straightforward, but she's just a very straightforward girlfriend, okay? So I read that one. And then I read uh this isn't really a a romance, but it w it was a I kind of found it similarly to that. And it was the private report on my lesbian experience with loneliness, is which is a, uh, a manga author who faced like depression and eating disorders and, and all this kind of stuff. Who, uh, long story short, she hired a prostitute to help with her confidence, and I mean it kind of worked, kind of sort of, um, but she didn't really end up like doing anything apparently because <laughs> she got like kind of whipped out but uh, you know the experience kind of helped her uh, be more confident in herself I suppose and uh, I thought it was a really 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 cool read honestly just just seeing how she went over uh, her experiences and all that it was it was it was really cool to see honestly it was it was a really cool read it's not really a manga it's more of like a like biography almost but uh, really really cool uh, little manga that I I happened to find. Uh, then I found Niahime to Kemono no O, which is, or O, which is um, a story about a girl named Sarifi who gets kidnapped or isn't kidnapped, but is like uh, born to be a sacrifice to like the demons or whatever, and then uh, she gets like sent over to the demon realm and stuff, and uh, the demon king is like uh, half human himself so he doesn't like to, to actually like sacrifice people he doesn't like bloodshed and they end up uh, getting engaged and then she has to like face being the queen of the beast and they don't really like her and it was it was a kind of it was a cute little read 
I liked it. It's still ongoing, I believe, so I'm still going to be able to read more of it as it comes out. That one was a pain in the butt to read, though. I have one, two, three, four, five different websites that I've read that on. Just because, like, um, it wasn't, like, <laughs> showing up properly on, on the websites. I'm like, what the heck, dude? It's terrible. The, like, translations were terrible and just honestly a bad experience all around. Um, then I read uh, Pseudo Harem, which is a story about uh, a couple who, like these uh, two teenagers, although I don't think they're teenagers towards the, the later ends of the, the story. Um, so much, or maybe they are, but like, you know, they're young adults towards the end of the story. I believe he is, at least. I'm not sure. They don't go into the age too much. Now, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're, they're like, you know, graduating school and stuff, and it's not inappropriate, so I didn't really care. But, um, they're, they're in, like, the acting club, you know? So, so she ends up, like, putting on different personas to be, uh, like, to, to have his own personal harem, you know? And then, uh, it was, it was cute. It was, um, that was a bit of a iffy one for me, honestly. Pseudo harem. It was, it was a little bit iffy. I liked it, but it did kind of get a little bit, like, like, they weren't doing anything inappropriate. Like, the weirdness didn't come from, like, you know, kids having sex. The weirdness came from just, like, I'm not sure the writers ever talked to a girl before. <laughs> you know, like, that kind of, that kind of weirdness. Like, I'm not sure that the, the writer's really ever been in a relationship, you know? It was, it was a little bit... There there were a few moments that were weird. It's perhaps just cultural, but for, for me it was a little bit off-putting at times. Just uh, the way it, it, it all kind of unfolded just, just kind of irked me the wrong way a little bit. But it was still a very enjoyable read. Really enjoyed it. And then this morning, I read Kimi no Suizo Habitai. Which is, like, the saddest, the absolute saddest manga I've ever read. It's, uh, it's a story about a girl who has, like, pancreatitis or whatever. So, so her, she's dying. Um, and the premise is that she has two years to live. And, uh, they kind of, like, get along and, and have a good time together. So, you know, getting into it, you know that the ending's going to be sad, okay? You know? Like, the, the the premise, the entire premise from the start is that she has an incurable illness, and uh, they're only trying to keep her alive as long as they can, not really trying to, like, save her, you know what I mean? Um, but, like, man, <laughs> it, the, it, 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 I don't want to spoil anything in case uh, in case you guys are reading. It's like 12 chapters or 13 chapters long or something. It took me two and a half hours to, to read this morning. Maybe three. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. So if, if you're interested in uh, in uh, in that kind of stuff, then uh, like that kind of heart-wrenching, like, I don't even know. It was, it wasn't, like, it was kind of romance, but... Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure that would be the defining, like tag for it, you know. But uh, if, if you're into that heart wrenching, just like a, a really well written story of of, of uh, sadness, <laughs> then boy howdy, I I was I was bawling this morning, just just crying because it was it was so sad. Um, really, really good manga. Really, really emotional experience, honestly. Very emotional. I enjoyed it. I like, I like reading manga that get me crying, you know? I just, I do. Some people are like, why would you read it if it's making you cry? I don't know. I, uh, I like it. I, I enjoy it. I can't read too much of them a day. If I read, like, a lot of those a day, or, like, you know, too much of it a day, I'm gonna cry, and then I'm gonna be, like, actually sad, but, like, a little bit of it just kind of feels good, you know? A little bit of it just kind of feels good. I don't know why. After that, I read uh, Kubo-san wa Boku wo Yurusanai, 
which is a, a story about a uh, a dude in uh, in high school that's invisible, so to speak. You know, nobody's really noticing him, and uh, he's not getting any attention. He just kind of lives his own life, and then somebody else, you know, Kubo-san, Kubo-san, the uh, heroine, is uh, Royan. The, uh, the the female lead ends up uh, talking to them, or talking to him, and then they uh, you know have fun and stuff. Uh, so that one was also quite good. I quite liked it. And then uh, after that, I read Sesame Salt and Pudding, which is these these this this we're getting into weird territory here. Just uh, FYI, <laughs> if, if the old if the other ones were weird, then these this is like super weird, okay? Um, but it's about a girl who gets drunk in a bar. And then proposes to some dude twice her age. And then he's like, I. They go get married, like, immediately. And then she wakes up in a, in a drunken stupor and is like, oh my god, I got married to you. And then they fall in love and live happily ever after. Well, like, kind of. It's, uh. The most recent chapter that's translated, anyway. I might go read the, uh, the Raws. Just because they did leave it on a big cliffhanger, and I'm mad. They left it on a big old cliffhanger. And I'm I'm real mad about it, <laughs> cause like I thought it was over. I thought it was done. I thought it was completed. You know, so I'd be able to like read the whole thing and have the whole experience start to finish. Nah, it's not completed yet. So I have to like wait or uh, or go read the Raws, which I might do. I can read Japanese sort of. I might go read the Raws. And then uh, finally, I uh, I've been reading Kawaii. Ka ka uh, Japanese is kind of hard to pronounce. Kawaii Hito. Which is, uh, like, just translates to cute person. Um, and it's about uh, a florist who's 27 with, uh, I believe it's called Sampaku eyes. Which is, like, um, like this really, like, scowl all the time, you know? And then uh, this girl falls in love with him and they date and go about their lives and neither of them have really dated before and it's cute I like it it's a it's a nice kind of breath of uh, fresh air too it's it's a little bit strange but um, you know the the male lead is 27 years old and she's 20 years old so you got you got two adults <laughs> you know in, instead of kids I like adult romance honestly I like adult romance a lot it's uh, you know the what, what's out there is is largely you know teen romance when you're when you're looking at manga anyway it's it's largely teen romance you know you got your Horimiya, uh, Kaguya-sama, um, you know all 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 of these like Toradora right like you got you got a billion different teen romance out there and uh, if that's all I get then that's you know I'll I'll take it. I'll accept it, but uh, when I when I get to find a uh, Money, anyone? a romance with with adults in it, <laughs> you know, even even if it's a uh, the the quality of the writing, the art, perhaps, you know, maybe it's a little bit lower than than some of the teen romance. I just like it more just because it's adults, you know. I just I'm, I'm able to read like relate better to to adults than like people going to high school and stuff. I'm just. That's a long, long time ago for me at this point. It's been many a year since since that day. Um, so it's nice to see adults and like you know the kinds of problems they face with having to like work and go job hunting and pay bills and all this kind of stuff. So even though the writing isn't necessarily the same, that's kind of why I enjoyed Sesame Salt and Pudding as well, even though it is a little bit strange. Um, just, just being able to see adults and like see the problems that they face and be be much more relatable is just a lot nicer sometimes. But the quality of writing is usually not as good because it's typically very like shoujo-y stuff, you know, very um, I don't know, flamboyant. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. I like the um the shonen ram the shonen rom but uh, <laughs> shonen romance, but. Uh, which isn't to say like little boys, but is it shonen? It might be. So I believe Hordimiya is uh, is shonen. 
that's my favorite manga. So, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have any to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.